I decided to do my informative speech on the benefits and the cost of grass-fed beef. But first, I'll give you a little preview, a little history of the beef that you most commonly eat now, which is grain-fed beef. Starting in the 1960s, America's population was booming. You had the baby boom generation. There's more families, more people to feed. So beef producing companies began to produce grain fed beef. And the reason for this was because it fattened up the cows quicker. You, you can mass produce it. And uh, it, it was just a lot easier to do than uh, grass fed beef where the cows graze on a ranch for a while. Um, the process of the grain-fed beef, I'll show you how it's done, they usually feed from their mothers, the mother's milk, until they're about seven months. Then they're shipped off to these massive... Oh, oops. Wait, which one's the next? Massive feedlots. As you can see, all those cows, all they do, literally all day, is stand around and eat grain. And this continues until they're about 12 to 18 months. Um, the prime time for to be slaughtered and sent off for us to eat. All right. But now, here's a history of grass-fed beef, which is basically the history of the world up until the 1960s. Grass, I mean, cows are meant to eat grass. It's a natural diet. So as you can see, um, that's just, that's the natural way of things. Um, and a uh, common practice of grass-fed beef up until the 1960s, they usually lived on ranches, and then uh, they were um, killed and kept in a controlled, uh, refrigerated environment, which is a process called dry aging, for about two weeks, and this actually creates some pretty good steak. But it's still done today, but not as commonly as it was before um, we started mass producing them. All right, how it's produced? Grass-fed beef is produced. Uh, well, the cows go through a process where they're born for about seven months. They just feed from their mothers. And then after that, basically for the rest of their life, they're just allowed to graze on a pasture like they're supposed to do. That's what cows are meant to do. They eat grass. Um, this basically continues on until the end of their life. And uh, commonly today, because it's not mass-produced like grain-fed beef, it's usually sold to local butchers and the grocery stores. Some of the health benefits of grass-fed beef. Well, it has less fat. As you can see here, compared to other types of meats, you have the beef loin. This is uh, grass-fed beef. Because that's the highest fat content. And you got chicken thigh, of course. And the grass-fed beef is about in the middle. The only thing below that is grass-fed bison. I mean, it's a wild animal. It's uh, getting exercise. It's going to be leaner. And then chicken. Uh, according to Joe Johnson, a writer for a website called AmericanGrassFedBeef.com, Americans actually eat 66 and a half pounds. Of, the average American eats about 66 and a half pounds of beef annually. Now, looking in the broad spectrum of things, uh, if you eat this much, if you eat grass-fed beef, you're actually eating 17,000 calories less than if you're going to eat grain-fed beef. And then in a little smaller terms, a six-ounce uh, cut of grass-fed beef actually has 100 less calories than a six-ounce cut of grain-fed beef. Grain-fed beef is also higher in omega-3s. Omega-3s, if you're not familiar, is a fat. And it's the most um, heart-friendly fat. It's also Omega-3s are also essential to your mental health and can uh, decrease your probability of getting illnesses such as schizophrenia. And uh, another thing is grass-fed beef isn't pumped with hormones and antibiotics. Um, the grain-fed beef, they pump full of hormones literally every day of their lives so they grow faster. That's on top of eating the grain that they eat. Um, and they give them antibiotics every day because the unnatural diet of grain causes them stress and sickness. And this, you know, if you have a bunch of cows getting sick, they're all going to get wiped out. So they have to give them antibiotics every day. But like the cause of antibiotics is them being so close together and eating grain-fed beef. So if you just didn't do that, they wouldn't need the antibiotics. 
There are, there are some negatives of uh, grass-fed beef. Expensive. You go to the store, you actually find it at the store, you go to the grocery store, most of them have grass-fed beef. It'll say organic or free range, something like that on the, on the cover, kind of make you want to buy it more, make it sound better. Um, it costs more though, because the supply, there's less supply for grass-fed beef than there is grain-fed beef, so it's going to cost a little more. Simple economics. Grain is also cheaper. Uh, the massive companies feed their cows grain because grain is subsidized by the U.S. government. Therefore, make it cheaper, and it's just it's less expensive for these companies to produce because they're just trying to meet their bottom line, just like everyone else in America. So, it, yeah, it's, it has some costs. It's uh, risky. Um, Grass-fed beef, if you have a bunch of cows grazing on a pasture and one of them gets sick, because they're not close together, is you are actually able to stop them from getting the rest of them sick and catching disease. But there is that chance that you're not giving them antibiotics. So what potentially if one cow does get sick or uh, steer, the rest of them could get wiped out by disease and then it's going to cost them.